Hey guys. So as you can see, it is dark outside and we're on the water. So the gaff I started out with uh, on this adventure was just this wooden gaff with a wood uh, rotted out. So my coworker had a piece of wood laying around. So he let me use it and just cut a piece out, put that in and wrapped it around in a little handle area. I think this feels really good in the hand. But yeah, so we're right now I'm in the Chester town, which is like the Chester, Chester River or whatever it is. And um, I'm gonna go try to kill a snake hit or two. Like, guys, yeah, this is pretty nice. Like, the trolling motor's decently way down. I'm right next to the bank. Um, it's about two and a half hours, three hours to low tide. So, um, it's, the tide's gonna drop more still, but uh, it's pretty nice. Oh, hit a little bit deep. There's a little bit of mud here. But, um, yeah, right now I'm just looking like straight into that stuff, just seeing if there's a snake, just just kind of trying to hide or pretending to hide kind of a deal. There was something. Oh, it's a carp. Oh, I missed him. He had a lily pad. Oh, there's a carp, guys. I better have whacked him. I missed him. Man, that's what you call like rusty right there. I feel like I'm just like passing up snakes right now, man. There's a fish right in front of us. There we go. There we go. There's a carp. Hey, man. Hey, guys, I think we're going to turn around here. <laughs> that was fun. Oh man. Trolling motor going nuts here. Here we go. Here's a woody. <laughs> There's a lot of ducks in here. There's more. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh. Are you kidding me? Yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah, man! Woo! Oh, man. 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 He's barely on, guys. He's barely on. He's barely on. Gosh! Don't get off! Please don't get off! 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 Yes! Ho oh, ho ho! Woo! Like, I don't know like when you guys go up bow fishing at all, like if you if you don't feel like you're in the killing zone, like right today I don't really feel like I'm in the killing zone. Killing mindset kind of video. Uh <laughs> my fellow bow fisherman probably understand. But uh that felt so good to shoot that snake. Um it's not even low tide yet, like so I'm just, I'm pumped. But um, I saw him in the weeds. I'm like, it looked, just, it looked like, a, uh, like an eel that you see like in the ocean candy, like just like sneaking through. I'm like, ah! Like my inner, inner, inner child is like, oh my goodness! <laughs> Black! Now after uh, all his carp gave me, like all his carp warmed me up, so. You 
you kidding me? You thinking kidding me? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Holy bunkers! Come on, baby. Come on, big boy. Come on. Oh my goodness. Guys, you ready? Look at that. I think this is the biggest snake I ever shot in my life right here. <laughs> this is awesome. Like, how long is he? About 30 and a half inches. Look at that. So that's about a 10 pound snake. <laughs> This is awesome. Like, um, he was just swimming from one, one bank to the next. Like, he looked like a carp, he's so big. <laughs> Look at this. This is awesome. These are such cool looking fish. Powerful, fun, delicious. Um, yeah, these guys came from, from like Laos, uh, Thailand area, and they, they're predatory fish. So they eat everything that's in the weeds, all the little stuff, the little rockfish, all that stuff. So it's good to get them out of the water as, as many as we can anyways. But uh, yeah, we're going to be eating well this week. <laughs> that's for sure. Man, we're like on a big mud flat here or something. Guys, I think we're stuck. Well guys, tide's going down and I'm stuck. So I'm gonna hop out. Hopefully the camera up top catches me, but I'm gonna get really muddy here. So I gotta take all my camera gear off. Probably the hardest where I've worked in a long time. I've been needing really bad and not exercising. In terrible shape. But anyhow, um, I was up to muck and halfway past my knee, like between my knee and my hip, kind of a deal halfway. And I wasn't even touching bottom, guys. And I was just kind of, <laughs> I don't know what I was hitting. But uh, I'm really happy we got out of that because if we weren't, rain's coming down like at 4 30. We would have been in, we would have been wet waiting for that tide to come up. Oh man. But I, I had to take the body mic off, so I might have to hear the generator now. But um, my, I'm wearing a swimsuit. My swimsuit's drenched, so I don't want to put my mic in there. Like 250 bucks. But anyhow, let's, uh, let's try to kill another one. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's either a carp or a snakehead. <laughs> it was a snakehead. Um, right now, I'm in really shallow water. Um, so, not exactly sure. I do not want to get stuck again. And we're stuck. Well, guys, there she is. Um, I'm not sure if I put in the video or not, but I got stuck again, like 200 yards away from the landing. And uh, I got really, I, I couldn't even move the boat. I hopped out, couldn't even move the boat. So I had to backtrack and it was a pain. But um, just got back to the landing, got the boat all, um, all, all uh, put away. Man, words. But man, look at all the look at all the the mud. I covered this thing. 
Yeah, let's go look at look what we got. There we go. There's the haul. This one right here, that's the big one. That sucker's huge. Be honest, we got five snakeheads and two common carp. So yeah. Anyhow, well guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for following along on the the crazy adventure today. Uh, yeah, it was nuts. Like, got stuck three times tonight. I I've got three stuck three times this whole year, and it was all tonight. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, that was a good night in the water. Saw some ducks. Saw some. Some cool looking fish and beat the rain. So, see you guys later. Bye.